Hey, welcome back to Talk Soup. I'm Elf, and that stands for Alien Life Form, or I'm on AFTRA Self Pay. Ooh, <laughs> Sad but true. Listen, um, I just want to let everyone know the reason I'm doing this show is I have about just a few of these left. These are the Elf hand puppets. I've got maybe 75 million of them. And, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm letting them go at a real good price, about three ninety nine each. Okay, that's I'm only making a buck on it. If you put the can you put the number on the screen? Call five five five, help me. Alf. What? We're not here to shamelessly plug your leftover Alf crap. Can you say that on TV? You could say shamelessly. All right. Let's get on with the show. Three ninety nine. All right. Before China got married. She made an agreement with her bridesmaids. They'd all lose 15 pounds before the big day. No pun intended. <laughs> but with the wedding looming, her maid of honor, Coco, has lost nary a pound. China, Coco? Anyway, China demoted her to bridesmaid, and now Coco is furious. Here she gives her version of the weight loss pact on moral court. What was the deal, Coco? What did you say? To, uh, to China and the I other said, women in the, in the wedding party. Okay, everybody's supposed to lose weight. I had the first thing because she said, oh, we, we, we need to lose weight to, to look good and everything else. So and I was like, never, fine, my cool. hips, my we hips. could try. So we're going to help said, Okay, wait a second, wait a, wait a second. Now, Coco, before the first fitting, you had an understanding that everybody would lose weight? Yes. Did you say to China, China, if you are being my maid of honor, you must lose weight? Yes. Is no, that, you did not that say that. You said, no, you did not say that. Hold on, China, what was said? She said hold that on, you know on, what, Coco, we're all with you. going to try to lose weight, and our goal is going to be two, her goal was going to be two pounds, mine was two? going to be, yeah, something like that, something like that. She said she was going to lose weight. That's not it. That's what I'm saying. She's not, apparently she's not listening, because two pounds, how am I going to, why two pounds for a wedding? You don't lose two pounds. You can go to the bathroom and get rid of two pounds. You see what I'm saying? Who is that clapping? I guess she's the one other woman in the courtroom with an eating disorder. Oh, she's like, yeah, yeah, you go, bulimia. Oh. And remember, Coco, when you're at the wedding, throw the rice. Don't eat it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Monday on Moral Court. A mother accuses her daughter's godmother of not fulfilling her responsibilities. Well, I guess somebody forgot to send somebody a Christmas card. Huh. Actor Stephen Collins is the star of the hit show Seventh Heaven. All right, it's, it's not a witty, heartwarming series about a wisecracking alien, but then again, what is? But, uh, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole different thing. But people seem to like him anyway. And on Steven's website, he's got a list. Now, get this. He's got a list of all the actresses he's kissed in his long career. I mean, this is about as interesting as, as listening to a John Tesh album. <laughs> all right. In this view clip, he reads a portion of it for the ladies and guest host, Kathy Lee Gifford. That list came from a, a talk I gave at a college reunion where they asked me to talk about my career, and I said, I don't know what I'm going to say, but the title will be Women I've Kissed for Money. <laughs> because somebody had pointed out, well, I don't know, I can name a few, but it's just like Shirley, oh, you've got it. <laughs> and it's very wow. list. Look at this list. See, I can't believe... Farrah Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett, Jane Seymour, Anne Margaret, Kathleen Quinlan, Bette Midler, Shirley MacLaine, Susan Sarandon, Lauren Hutton, Jane Curtin, Sigourney Weaver, Donna Mills, Joanne Wally, Roma Downey, Blythe Danner, Stockard Channing, Victoria Tennant, <laughs> Diane Keaton. It you goes tramp. On. Yeah. Where are the black girls? That's only halfway through. Where are the black girls? I don't see any black girls on that thing. Kiss them now. Do it now. Oh. <laughs> somebody, somebody, uh... All right, hey. we'll, we'll be right back. No, yeah, that was an uncomfortable moment, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've got, you know, I've got my own little list here, too. These are the people that I've, that I've kissed on network television, and they include Heather Locklear, Heather Thomas, Vicky from The Love Boat, and Emmanuel Lewis. What? Well, all right, all right. They're not people I actually kissed, but uh, tried to kiss while drunk at a cocktail party in the 80s. Oh, ah! okay. oh, oh by the way, Emmanuel Lewis tried to give me the tongue. Oh. It's true. It's true. Monday on The View, it's everyone's favorite bald African-American talk show host, Montel Williams. I guess the Propecia isn't working. And the funny thing is, he hasn't, he hasn't kissed Stephen Collins either. Ah, something's wrong here. 
Oh, ever since Andy Richter's departure, Conan O'Brien has been on the lookout for a new sidekick. Pick me, pick me, pick me! Yeah! I mean, I could probably find the time in my schedule to do this. I can move some things around. Uh, but in the meantime, Conan's got Ernie, a guy he found in the audience. Now, just so you don't get confused, Ernie's gonna mention Elastica. They're the musical guests for the night. All clear? Super. Tonight, I think we got him right in our audience, Ernie. You gotta meet Ernie. I think Ernie... <laughs> Ernie is... Now, do you have an axe under your seat? I mean... <laughs> what you don't know is that I'm with Elastica. <laughs> I do the jokes, aren't I? <laughs> you want a piece of this? I'm right here, baby. <laughs> You can't tell this at home. Ernie is, I think, eight feet tall. <laughs> I talked to him a little bit before the show. He juggled me to the amusement of the rest of the crowd. Hey, hey, I'd love to be Conan's sidekick, huh? Don't you think I would be great? No. Keep going. Don't beg. What do you mean, beg? I'm not desperate. All right, I can't take the job anyway, all right? Sour grapes. I spend too much time visiting schools. And I wouldn't want to disappoint the kids, because they'd have to yell, Hey, you're not Elmo, at someone else. Yeah, tickle this. <laughs> Monday on Conan, it's actor Patrick Stewart. He played Professor Xavier in the X-Men. And Star Trek's Captain Picard. Hey, you know, we bump into each other at sci-fi conventions sometimes. He loves my work. Uh, by the way, William Shatner is a very bitter man. <laughs> yeah. Time for another break. When we returned, until that guy came between them, these twins used to be close, uncomfortably close, like we are now. And just ahead, a girl on a blind date finds that subtlety is the best approach.